Hello and welcome to the Ross Cloud Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Ross Sr. And this platform was created to motivate and to inspire in hopes that you will become a better you. I'd like to give a shout out to everybody listening all over the world, especially right here in our own backyard in North Carolina. Stand up. Listen, if you had a chance to get out to homecoming this weekend, I hope you guys, I know you guys had an amazing time. I know I did. And I'm sure everybody else did too. And of course, I'm here with my host, Candy T. Jeter and Femi Ashanoa. What's good, family? Nothing much. Nothing much. Nothing much. How's it going out there? Yes, indeed. I'm doing good. I can't complain. That's good. No complaints whatsoever. How are you doing, ever. baby? I'm great. I'm great. How about yourself? <laughs> I can't complain either. <laughs> I love the way Phoebe looks like, yeah, I'm great. I'm great. I'm great. I am excellent. Excelente. Excelente. So, yeah, again, you know, homecoming. Did y'all get a chance to get out in homecoming at all? Yeah, I did. You did? I did. Yeah, I did. I'm sure you guys had a good time. Oh, we did. We did. Yeah. yeah it, was, it was great. Yeah. Seen a lot. It was a lot of people out there. Yeah. It was a lot of people out there. This and by homecoming, we mean North Carolina A&T State University. Absolutely. Aggie Pride. Aggie Pride Worldwide. <laughs> you G-ho. know. Geo. <laughs> Geo. <laughs> That's right, baby. Yes, sir. Uh, the greatest homecoming on earth, baby. Mm-hmm. Believe that. Yeah. Boy, they was out there, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, listen, we had a chance to go check out the uh, gospel show. Okay. And uh, Ty Tribbett and uh, Leandro and, of course, a and gospel choir right. song in the beginning. It was amazing. And um, what's, the, what's the guy that sung on, um, on The Voice? Victor? Mm-hmm. What is? I don't know. I can't think of his name. So forgive me for not knowing who he is right off top right I now. But, I don't know his name either. But he was on the Voice, and he was a member of the gospel choir. Anyway, he song did an amazing job. The choir did an amazing job. The dancers, it, it was just super cool. No, oh, okay. uh, yeah, they did great. And of course, you know, Leandro, she gonna do what she do. Mm-hmm. You know, and 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 so did uh, Ty Tribbett, which was amazing. It was just a great show. And I'm sure everybody else that was there had a good time, too. And I'm sure the other shows were good, too. Um, what was the other acts that was here? You got a chance to see Dougie Fresh, right? Yeah, I Femi? did. I did. I did. He still got it. He still yeah, got yeah, it, he don't he? Got it. <laughs> right. He still got it. Still got it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, that brother, he rocked the crowd. I'm sure he did, man. I'm you sure know he how did. He do it. Yeah, absolutely. Right, it's Dougie right. Fresh, man. Yeah. Yeah. He is the show. Yeah, he is. He yeah. literally is the show. Yeah. Yeah, so so listen, today we have a we have a great topic. I I love this topic and I'm sure the team does too. It's it's one that deals with uh free will and free speech. And so is are we really free? <laughs> you know, that's that's one of the questions. And as we continue to build on it, you guys are kind of get kind of in in the direction that we're going um you know we see what's happening with Kanye West but not just Kanye West but many others who uh use uh their free will to say whatever they want to say uh some people apologize some people don't uh Howard Stern for many years has said whatever the hell he's wanted to say and countless of others others mm-hmm. you know we we can mm-hmm. When we think about, uh, they used to call them shock jocks, <laughs> and they say whatever they want to say, right? And how they want to say it, and when they want to say it, no matter who they offend. And uh, sometimes they can be deemed by society as being a villain or mm-hmm. this horrible person, but they're really just speaking their mind. Right. So, free will and free speech. I start off with free will. And again, I've, I've discussed free will uh, by myself, but I thought it would be so much better to talk about free will and free speech, free speech with a group of uh, individuals because my perspective and what I think, it's not the only one. Mm-hmm. 
You know, everybody has an opinion about that. So we'll, we'll start off with free will. Free will is the power of acting without the constraint of necessity or fate. The ability to act at one's own discretion. Do whatever you want to do, right? Pretty much. Mm -hmm. And then you have uh, freedom of speech is the right of a person to articulate opinions and ideas without interference or retaliation from the government. The term speech constitutes expressions that includes far more than just words, but also what a person wears, reads, performs, protests, and more. Okay. So free speech and free will. You know, the question is, do we really have that? Even though we say we do, do we really have it? <laughs> you know, if you have to think about uh, what we see happening right now with uh, Kanye. And again, this is to bring perspective, not to gossip on the brother. I'm actually praying for the brother. I hope, you know, whatever, whatever. But uh, free speech and free will is where we at now. Mm -hmm. So do you guys think that we're really free? Do we really have a free will to say what we want to say? Free speech? Do we really have that? I don't know. I, I really, really don't know. I don't know if we have, I mean, I think there are limitations to okay. To, you know, Why would you say we have limitations, though? Because I think sometimes, even though they say free will and free speech, it's mm -hmm. like it's a it's a limit. It's as far as you could go. It's gotcha. certain things. It's certain things. It, it's probably is as far. Don't take it too far. Because mm -hmm. if you take it too far, then the consequences and repercussion of what you said is there. But at the end, of, but they still say it's freedom of speech. Yeah. So that's why I said I think there there are limitations to what you say. Mm -hmm. You know, because in these days and time, you know, you have to watch. You have to really watch what you say, depending on who who you directing it to or who it's being directed. You know. So mm -hmm. that's that's why that's why I feel like I think there are limitations. Mm. Into f like freedom of of speech or or, or will, mm. and and you have to watch what you say or else what will happen. Like, uh, <laughs> like I said, the the repercussion depending on what what the topic it is mm -hmm. or or what what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. It all depends on what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. So you know you can't just even though they say it's freedom of speech, but let me go out here and say something, and then, and they're like, "You're not supposed to say that." Mm -hmm. Just like if a cop, if a cop stops you, and he says, uh, "And you, and you say something to me," and it's like, "You can't say that to me." It's like, "Well, I have the right to say whatever, I, whatever I want to say," and he replies, "No, you don't." Right. Mm. So, where does where do we draw the line? Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Good point. Good point. So if that's the case, then why the hell do we have the First Amendment then? Right. You know, why in the hell do we even have it? Yeah. If they're going to shut you down and they said you could have free speech, then why in the hell would you shut a person down? Yeah. Why would you take everything from them because they was expressing, expressing themselves um their opinions and, and right. what they felt. Yeah. I, Why? I don't understand. I, I don't understand that part. I just don't understand that. Right. Because I've seen I've seen so many times like if a, for example, if a mm -hmm. cop stops you and you know you say something like, uh sir, you know, if you say that I'm you're gonna be arrested. I'm mean, like, why are you arresting me? I'm just I'm just mm -hmm. expressing the way I feel. Mm -hmm. right. Where if you say that one more time, you're going to jail. Why am I going to jail? Because of something I said. Yep. So you see that over and over, you know, and those those are just one out of a a bunch that we see every day. Sure. 
Sure. So sure. I agree with you. And the more you. clout you have, or the more money you have, the less freedom you actually have. That part. That yeah. part. Because <laughs> so, the the more you have to lose, yes, sir. Yes, sir. the bigger the problem is because yes, people sir. feel like they can control you. Mm. You know. So I I I always like to know what people are thinking. Mm-hmm. I think a society where you don't know where people are think what people are thinking is quite dangerous. So would you Absolutely. say money's power? No. I think money is power to a degree. Mm. But sometimes money is bondage. Mm-hmm. Some of the freest people I know don't have a dime. Yes. You know. Um I I feel like people who it depends on where the money comes from. Yeah, I agree. Mm. Yeah, it depends on where the money comes yeah. from. You need to all money ain't good money. No, it's right. Not. Right, if no. somebody say they want to offer you money for this show and then you take the money and then we can't say what we want to say, that's a problem. Exactly. That that was where I was trying. Yeah. That's why I said <laughs> Is money power? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. a problem. Yes. You can keep your money. Yeah. That's that's why you know I I just again I just do not understand it. If the first if the First Amendment says we have the freedom of press, you can you have the freedom of speech. You can say whatever you want to say, <laughs> right? Now that's what it says. Yeah. It said that, but it you says know, that. Well, you got to understand, we're living in a world where the law is not always on. Oh, it's always I, I on one side. Oh, that's that's not even my debate about it. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's just a, a figure but, of speech that I'm having right, right now. Like, right. you know, but, like, but just just yeah. to have it in perspective, they were like, well, we ha- we have it in written. You know, you, you yeah. You know, and, yeah. and your own peers are your worst critics. Ooh, worst when critics. It comes to God, speech. Oh when my. it comes to speech. It's yeah. like, if you don't say exactly what they want you to say, yes. they will unfriend you. Yes. They will, <laughs> yes. you know, say all kinds of things yes. about you. Mm. And they will turn against you. Yes, they, yes will. they will. And I yeah. think that that is so wrong. That's why it's always good not to even try to have fans. That's right. Just, Just do go you. ahead and do you. Just do you. You know, I'm going to read. Don't try to be nah. liked. Yeah, it's it's no need to. Mm-mm. I mean, because they don't. Here's the thing: the um, the universe they they don't control that. You know, that's not controlled by them. And whatever you're going to be, that's that's what it's going to be. That's what it's going to be. Know, whatever your destiny is, and whatever it is. I don't like varied opinions. That's I don't what know makes why. The world go that's around. what makes the beauty. That's you know. Humanity is beautiful if we would allow it to be that. Exactly. If we would allow just to let the human experience be beautiful, mm-hmm. whether we agree or disagree with mm-hmm. it, why can't we just allow it to just be what it is? Right. And leave people alone. All the way. So what if they said it? If I'm not hurting nobody. I ain't hurting nobody. I ain't hurting you. I don't care what, I really don't care what you think about me. Or what you say about me. See, that 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 statement right there goes a long way. Mm-hmm. So it sounds like to me that we live in a country and we live in a society where people wear their emotions on their sleeves. Mm-hmm. Everybody's offended by something. Oh, man. I'm you can't so... say anything to anybody or about Everybody anybody. Everybody want to be a victim. Everybody wants to be a victim, man. Mm-hmm. What needs to happen really is it's a lot of forgiveness, but at, at the same time, there's a lot of race issues that are still going on in our society. And yeah. that's the reality. And of that's it. the reality of it. And as we see these things happening in our society, we got black people who are racist. We got white people who are racist. We got Chinese people who are racist. We got uh, we have Africans who are racist. We have all folks who may be racist, mm-hmm. whether they talk about it or not. Yeah. Right. So relate race relationships. They have to uh, these conversations have to continue right. us having these conversations because I don't agree with everything Kanye said. Mm-hmm. I don't. But it's what he said. Right. It's what he said. Right. And the names, the, and the name names dropping. He, 
And so you're going to take his money? You're going to you're going to take you're going to take everything that he has the ability Here here's my thought process on it. Here's what I really truly think about it. If God as I stated earlier, if God in all of his grace and all of his wisdom and all of his love for humanity gave man a choice, then who are we to snatch away the gifts and talents that prov- that help provide them a living? Right. When God gave us at the beginning of Genesis, he gave us a decree and a declaration mm-hmm. to inhabit the earth. So who the freak are you? To say that that man can't make a living for himself. Exactly. That's not right. Uh, no. I'm it, sorry. It's not. No, I don't agree with what he said. I don't. But damn. And even if you did, that would be but okay. Even, but even if I did, that would be okay. That would be another example right. of free speech and free will. Right. You know? why, why are you taking this man's, I, I'm telling you, and, and we don't like to say, well, I hate to blame it on the, we don't want to blame it on race. Well, tell me what the hell it is then. Mm-hmm. Why are you making that man crash and burn like that? Because he said something and, about his... And we are his biggest critics. We're his, we are his biggest critics. I've heard us say all kinds of We stuff. have. And I'm, I hadn't jumped on that boat. But I feel as though black people in particular are always looking for somebody to hang their hat on. Lord, Jesus. And whenever that person does something that we don't like we are so disappointed yes instead of looking at it as they are an individual we are individuals yes and if they do something that's different that doesn't necessarily re- reflect on me no not at and all And that doesn't mean that i have to necessarily disassociate myself with that person that or part. tear that person down right. just to prove that he's right or he's wrong right. and I'm right or whatever you're trying to prove. Here's here's the thing. If if we're in politics, if all of us were politicians and all of us have different views, right? I don't agree with your views. But am I not going am I not going to speak to you? Am I not going to support you and come to your restaurant anyway though? Right. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, we're still friends. Mm -hmm. We just have different views of what we think politics is Mm -hmm. from our perspective. Right. You know, from from what we see. Right. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of people that have different views and different thoughts. Guess what? They can do that. Mm -hmm. They are individuals. Because when you (laughs) get ready to say whatever it is that you want to say. Yeah. You're going to want people to listen. Yes, you are. Right. That's right. So why not give that other person the same courtesy, whether you agree with what they say or Just not? Just hear what he's saying. Because it's not what the person says. It's the freedom to be able to say it. Right. That's the whole concept. That's the whole concept. And really and truthfully, again, I'm not making excuses for Kanye and how he, however he is. I'm not going to judge the brother. But when we look at him again, I'm not going to make excuses. But if we look at him in his beginning and his start, if we check out how he moved and how he did things, he made his own rules to become successful always. always. And he never cared he about never offending He never cared people. about offending He's anybody. Always, uh, He's always been, been on the edge. Always been very brash. And people uh, liked that about him. And yes. the very thing that they liked about him, now, now that they he's dis- doing it, they dislike now it. they are punishing him for it. But honestly, man, it's... Oh, man. And the, the, the funny thing about it is, like, when, when Kanye... You know, they they said all these things and he kept quiet for so long. He, he did. He wasn't say even, even for a very they, long time. For a long time. Yeah. They'll say this about him, they'll say that about him. You know, they have all this to say. And he still kept his composure. Sure he yeah. did. He kept his composure. He, he did. didn't say nothing. He he was and he was still working with these individuals, making them rich. Right. 
making you know making now all these say that making all these people rich using his talent now that now that he's out now he wants to speak out you know concerning the different type of you oh, know yeah. the, the the race that we're in now he's speaking up for for us now it's a problem it's a problem but when he was, really that's all he was doing yeah he was speaking up for right. us Right. We you know, never have right. anybody advocating for us. Cause see, I had to, I had to really, <laughs> I had to really sit there. Never. You know, I had to, you know, when 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 he was there on 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 Drink Champs. Yeah. And I had to really, really. If you, sit there and, I was gonna say and, you had to and, sit down and, and, and listen, listen to what listen he's saying. To what he was saying, and I was like, wow. I didn't at first. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't think. Right. You know. I didn't no. think it through like that. Right. Till. I saw what he. I saw what he was doing. Here's the thing that you know, uh, Al was here earlier, and we were talking about it. And you know what we said. What we said earlier was again, like we said again, he's in rooms, y'all, in 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 most rooms that some of us will never be in. Mm, right. You kind of see what I'm saying. Right. He's he in sees room, things. He we'll sees never things see. that we never ever see. Mm-hmm. So in a sense, he feels like. This is what I'm getting from him. He feels like he owes that to us mm-hmm. to say, hey, this is what's going on, y'all. I need y'all to hear what I'm saying to y'all. Mm-hmm. Y'all being bamboozled. Y'all being tricked. Right. Listen to me right. and what I'm saying to you. Right. He, he in the rooms. He yep. with the gaps. He's with the Balenciagas. He's with... Adidas. Adidas. He's oh, yeah, in these right. rooms. And we don't know the whole yeah. story. We don't know the whole, whole story. story. We didn't know why Prince changed his we name. We didn't know why Prince changed his name. Yeah, we didn't know why Michael, Michael Jackson, Jackson was going, going through, through all that with his rights and all. You know, we had no idea. idea. And, as soon and, as, and we called all of them crazy. And as soon as. Honestly, as, we did. Yeah. We did. Even Prince. Even Prince, we, we did. Him crazy. Call like, him a weirdo. We call so him weird. weird. Right. Why is he doing no, he that? wasn't. You know? He wasn't weird. He, he was smart. He was hell. very smart. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> even even um, Mr. Pudding Man. Oh, oh. Bill, oh yeah. Bill, b- that's right. He yeah. was getting ready to buy get, NBC. Ex- he was getting ready what? to that's, make that's, a move. Yeah. Every time, every time an uh, African American is, is getting ready to make a move, they. Always, always find a way to try and, and and to try and stop us from being that great. Yeah, yeah. Again, unless they give it to us, unless they give it to you. You know, because yeah. I had posted something that Russell Simmons had yeah. said. Russell Simmons I said some good stuff too. About yeah, that. I um, saw that. I saw that. He was talking about how the Jews had really helped him out. Absolutely, right. That and was his experience. Those, that was his experience. It and was I liked the way he said. That Me that too. Was his experience. Yes, and that's a lot of black people. It's a lot of black people's experience. But I've never run into been, a bad Jewish person. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. I have. Yeah, and I've never ran into anybody that was bad like that. I'm I'm being honest with you, right? So of right. course, if he's saying it, I don't know what his experience was. I can and only a speak lot about of Jews what my have helped was. out in the civil uh, rights civil movement. rights movements and things like that. Right. But but he was but he is shining light on other things. That's all he's doing. And it's okay. Right. It's okay if that's what he's doing. Right. right. It's okay to shine light. You can't always sing everybody's praises all, all the, the time. time. Right. And he's not a and yes man. there's certain things he cannot tell. Certain so he we're going to hear half of this and yes. half of that and bits of pieces of this and that mm-hmm. and it's going to sound crazy. Yeah. Um and I mean, I'm not, I'm not a psychologist, so I can't say Me what's either. what. I'm not going to say what's what either. But we called Dave Chappelle crazy <laughs> we before did. we knew the whole story before behind we knew the whole why story. he quit That's comedy right. for a little while and went to Africa. Right. And he said And he almost, finally told it. You know what's so crazy? If we mm. really think about it, he actually almost, Kanye is almost echoing the, almost identical I, that's what i thought of to what dave Chappelle said the mm-hmm. only difference is david Chappelle said it in a in a comedian kind of way he was very strategic he was very strategic <laughs> and how he said it mm-hmm. yeah kanye just said it yeah it just was like this is what it is right 
He no filter. Mm. Mm. Dave Chappelle had a filter. Exactly. It still hurt him, but he had a filter and with he, him. And, and he was able to take the filter off he years was. later. He was. Years later, he did. And, and now, that's why you say he was strategic. Oh, he was very strategic. He was. He recollected himself. He got his power and he back. he got back on the platform. And then he said, hey, this is what really happened. And I know there's another part of the story. I know it's another part, right? Because I've seen this happen over and over and over. We've all seen this happen yes. over and over. And we have. We all keep we calling have. all of them crazy. crazy. It's like we never learn never that learn. there is another world out there besides the little tiny oh, world that man. we live in. And see, the, the, the God. Boy's playing with a lot of money and a lot Ooh. of power. Mm-hmm. A lot That's of money and a lot right. of power. And I think the the thing that's hurting Kanye West right now, mm-hmm. you know, speaking of freedom of speech and, sure. and will, sure, I think what's hurting him is because of the name dropping. Because he had a lot of names that he was trying. Because when you know when he was going through those um, the divorce with Kim, mm-hmm. and they took you know they took his child away. Mm-hmm. It was a certain person that said. I hope he never sees his kids again. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. and Christ. that, you Why know, you yeah. say that? right. So yeah. he has kept quiet for so long. And now that he's speaking out. It's a problem. Yeah. Yeah. And these are the people that he, he put them. I mean, he put them in, in the most, to the top, like mm-hmm. the most high where now, oh, he's crazy. Because he was really speaking about the Jews, uh, you know, the medias, and then he was he was naming certain. I, I don't think he should have done that part, right? But mm-hmm. he said it now. I mean, but you know, can't like, take it back. You can't take not, it back. I mean, it's out there. Because he 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 named. He yeah, named that's why it's been coded for so long for with so other long. people. Yeah, absolutely. they've been coding it because yes. they. Try to get the truth out, yeah. but they know once they get in so deep, they can't. You know, I'll be honest with you. This has been going on even you know before time. You mm-hmm. know, when you think about when you hear about all these horrible contracts that a lot of people go through that are mm-hmm. fighting for their masters now. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. and it wasn't just from the hands of who people say. I don't I don't even want to say the name. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy, you know. But, you know, even black folks have taken advantage of other black folks and screwed them in this music industry as we continue to see a lot of things unravel. But, you know, I think Noriega said it the best. He was like he was like the rap industry, he was like a a deal was never for the benefit of the artists. It's always been for the columbarant to right. make all of the money, whatever right. that record label is, it's for them to make the money. So here we are. What what are our First Amendment rights? So speech is one. The First Amendment says that people have the the right to speak freely without government interference. Press the First Amendment gives the right gives the press the right to publish news information and opinions without government interference. And that's a lie. You know, that's what I'm saying. They not, they don't do that. Right. Uh, and and, we, and this is stuff that's... All of the alphabets are all over people when yeah. they say certain things. My point is <laughs> that. So freedom of speech, right. I, yeah. I agree with you. We can't say anything. Listen, you can't say nothing about black folks either. Mm-mm, mm-mm. So there's no such thing as freedom of speech. It is not. It if doesn't we know exist. We can't be biased on the truth at all. Yeah. We have to be straight. If, the, if, if it says the First Amendment, I have the right to say this, then you got the right to say it. And what they're really doing, in, is, as they do with all other laws and rules, is they're really being funny. They're saying yeah. you got a right to say it, but hmm. the consequences are going to be this. There you go. So you do have a right to say it. You do have a right to say it. Yeah. But, but this is what's going to happen. We might kill you. We might take, you, take yes. your job. We might cause something to happen to your children. We might cause something to happen to you, you know. Um, but you can say it. 
Yeah, go right ahead. Yeah, they they're really just being funny. It's almost it, like that. Mm-hmm. It, I think it is because even 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 like our jobs, like you you know like right. jobs, they have all these they have all these policies that and they all these, act like are supposed to protect you. They'll, like. they'll say, oh, the policy says this, the policy says that, but they're the ones they break those policies. Yeah. They'll do the they'll time. they'll do the opposite of what they, they put in those policies and then and then when you don't follow it, they'll be like, It's in the book. Right. But yeah, that's I what they'll say. But I just saw I just saw you oh well, you not me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. I, you know, I'm the boss. You Yep. You know, so so where, where again, do we draw the so line? so guess what? We really—it's <laughs> really no free speech, and there's really no free will, because even even with us saying we have free will, you don't have free will. Mm. You think you do, but you really don't. Right. I mean, when you think about it, because there's so much. Even if we look, even if we look from a religious standpoint, even if we look from a non-religious standpoint, you really ain't free. No. You really don't have a free will. Mm-hmm. It's almost like an expression of saying, I have free will to do exactly whatever I want to do. But do you really? Mm-hmm. And do you really want to go down that rabbit hole? Because mm-hmm. there's a lot of consequences to you having free will. Mm-hmm. Sure, you can do whatever you want to do. You sure can. But trust me, there's some backlash somewhere that's going to happen with that free will. Which I think is why people don't help people when they get to a certain status that is what it is they always I agree. say oh you know they got too big they forgot where they came from they don't help their own people and they don't do this they don't do that that you know that you're not really allowed you know no, you can not. only do it under certain guys and that has yeah. to reflect on the people who you're getting that money from absolutely and lift them and up. lift them up yeah but you I agree can't with you on really that. help your, you know, yeah. people like that. Nah. So once you get to a certain status, you belong to those people. I agree. Which is why the name changed. Yes. Which is why the cutting up trying to get out those contracts. Yes. Yes. You, you know. see it. You see it unfolding. Yeah. I'm trying you know, to get out of this. And I think that's why I said it's a limitation. Yeah. It's, yeah it's, it is. It's, it's, I it mean, think about it. Think about all of our female rap artists now, right? Think about the image that they possess, each and every one of them that they possess, right? I'm not knocking it. Hey, get your money, baby. Mm-hmm. Get your money. Mm-hmm. But my question has always been, why do our women have to do that? In order to get the bag, Mm -hmm. why do we have to do? Why Mm -hmm. do our women have to do that? You know, why do we have to push the limit to shake our asses on stage in front of millions of people? Yeah. And, you know, I'm not knocking it, but why is that? Why is why do we have to stoop? Why do we have to do that? Candy? Because everybody wants to see black ass. True story. Not, not Honestly, only. everybody loves to see the black body. <laughs> you tell the truth. Right. You tell and, the truth. And that is the easiest way to it's get people's attention. It's a fascination with it. I agree. You know. I agree with you on that. And, then, and people say you're degrading yourself mm-hmm. and you are to mm-hmm. a degree, to depending a degree. on how you want to look at it. Yeah. But there is a capitalization on it. Absolutely. Because we are in high demand. We are. You know, in a we lot run, of ways. We run this world. Yeah, uh, yeah. With, truthfully, with, our culture. With our gifts and with talents. With our gifts and talents. Yeah. We rule our influence, gifts, talents. We're able to really create wealth for ourselves. Yeah. I just hate that it always has to be that. Yeah, it does. I, you know, I, I does. don't have a problem with it because, again, these young folks are making some money. Mm-hmm. And I must say, I'm proud of them. Yeah. I must say, because they're able to... I mean, to, I'm not saying I'm necessarily even in agreement with it. No, no, no. But they, you know, but they it's encouraged because they know that's a money maker. That's a money maker. You know, now they are, you know, they they own in real estate. They buying land. But, you know, that was the price that they was willing to yeah. pay. Yeah. You know, it was a sacrifice. P, it was P Valley. Yeah. You know, that was a sacrifice that they was willing to make. P Valley, yeah, because of that, right, right. It's very raw <laughs> and in your face. Yeah, yeah. But again, 
I don't know what those young ladies went through in their lives. Mm-hmm. See, that's the that's the caveat to that. I don't know what they went through in their lives to say, hey, listen, I, I got to do what I got to do right now. Mm-hmm. And if shaking my ass going to get me $50 million and I can own land, then, Mama, I love you. I'm finna go do to shake my ass, Mama. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Whether we agree with it or disagree with it. And then I'll it. quit tomorrow. And then I'll quit tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unless that bag get better, then they're going to shake a little harder, I guess. Huh? So they can't shake anymore. <laughs> right. So that's why wow. I'm saying, that's why I'm giving these different scenarios to kind of let people think. I don't sway either way. It's just, I don't know what folks have gone through. Neither one mm-hmm. of us do. None of us do. I just wish that that was another... I just wish that we didn't have to always, that had to be the norm now. Yeah. You know, why do, Why does a black man have to put a gun in his hand and wave it now in order to get to the bag? I don't want to do that. I don't want to mm-hmm. scream murder, 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 kill, kill, kill. Mm-hmm. You know, I got to worry about ops and all of that. I don't want to have to do that. Yeah. But I'm not knocking it. And it's not hating on uh young people and 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 what they're doing that's totally not what it is Mm -hmm. but why is that the new norm now right why is that the norm they've they've normalized it now that we wave guns and we shoot them and we kill each other Mm -hmm. that's not normal yeah Mm -mm. has Mm -hmm. it been happening absolutely and that's not normal normal, though Mm -mm. yeah those behaviors are not normal for us to kill each other like that. No, they're not. They're not. That's not normal. We are kings and queens. Right. We come from a royal priesthood. We, we, that's not what we're supposed to be doing. Mm-hmm. And again, I get it. I can't say what you went through. I can't say what you went through or what you've gone through to get there. You don't know what I've been through. Right. Mm-hmm. I can't say what I don't. I won't do because ain't nobody right. put ten million dollars in my damn face. Right. So and it's easy to say what you won't do until it's actually put in front of front. you. Mm-hmm. And, and that's that's, that's <laughs> that, where that I, part too. Now, right. You know, so. And that's that's something. You know, I heard. I heard. Um, gosh, what's his name? What's the other guy with Chuck D? Flavor Flay? Flavor Flay. Mm -hmm. I heard him say one time, he's like, yo, they always calling me ugly, this, ugly, that. And not only him, I've heard other rappers or other um, Mm -hmm. female. It's like, if if they could call me ugly and all this for free, I mean, they've been calling me ugly and this, this for free for a long time. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. If they going if they gonna offer me twenty million dollars to call me ugly for free, he said, guess what? <laughs> I'm gonna say they've been calling me all my life ugly. And then I see twenty million let, let them call me ugly for twenty million. Look, right. I, my he said my I get ugly tail my I ugly tail will be will, will be will be walking down. I mean, think about it. You we know, live like, we live in a reality world. Right. So look at reality T V. Right. You know, people are getting paid and people are capitalizing off of people's um, toxic behaviors. Right. It's sad, but true. It is. But, you know, again, you know, I don't know what folks go through. Right. None it, of us right. know what they have been through right. in their lives to say, hey, yeah, right. I'll take $10,000 right. an episode, mm. you know, for the next year. And then next year we're going to have to rediscuss it. We're going right. to discuss some other things. I, You know, I, I'll take all these perks. Right. I'll I'll air it all out. Right. You know, I'll I'll yeah. go ahead and air it out. Free speech, free, right, will. Some, free like, speech, free will, mm-hmm. right? But nobody's messing with those those people. Mm-hmm. Right. But again, I it goes back to what both of you said, power and money though. Yeah. When you get to a certain echelon group, when you get to the top of the echelon, if you would, when you get to billionaire status, That's they can it, take it all yeah. from you, bro. <laughs> right. As easily as they've given it to you, they can easily take it away. Right, right. And I think that's what a lot of black people are frustrated with yeah, Kanye about. Absolutely. They're thinking, why are you doing this? Because you represent us. us. And I think that we just need to get out of that if we possibly can and mature a little bit better to say, you know. He is who he is. He's who he you know, is, man. We do have people who Lord, represent man. us and yep. who are making us proud, but yep. you always have that outlier, <laughs> that one that's just going to be out there roaming and doing their own right. thing. Right. He's that one. Right. He is. 
What I mean, and everybody I mean. was so embarrassed by him, <laughs> and and I think that's really what it is. Yeah, black folk are embarrassed. Yeah, and I they don't know any too. other way to right. deal with that embarrassment. I know they don't. They're sitting there like, Lord, right. what are you doing, Kanye? Not knowing the full story. Right. Yeah. Well, some of them, they, some of them do know the story. They just, they just like. Wow. Well, you know Jay Z and all of his other counterparts know. Oh, right. absolutely, right. they know what's up. Yeah, they yeah, know, they what's, know up. what's going on. Oh, they really know. Right, they yeah. do. They do. <laughs> you but know. they're not. But going they're not going to trade gonna... what they have. No, nah. right. they're not willing to do that. Right. No, and I think that's why, aside from everything else, that part of him. Yeah, he's left out there by guts. himself. Yeah, that's good. He got tons. He got big <laughs> kahunas. <laughs> right. Because the stuff he was saying, I was Man, like, wow. I, I mean, he was like, I mean, if you get a chance, go go on and watch that episode. Was, I mean, he was dropping names. Like. And, you know, he did it. He did it in the first one, too. Uh, yeah, yeah. So my I thing saw. is, but if you when, know when him. when women want to tell how they've been raped, mm. they let them drop names. And they let them mm. take people's careers. And they let them do all of that. But when... Black people are being financially raped mm. Mm. or cornered in Come on. these contracts. I know where you're going. And somebody yes, wants sir. to say, you know, this is happening right? to me, mm. mm-hmm. then it is a problem. It is a problem. It's a problem. But rape is rape, however you want to look at it. Rape is rape. Whether you're raping me for the my money. Money. My body, body. My soul. Yes. You know? It's and rape. Guess, it's rape. And guess Go ahead, go ahead. And we and we do that. You that we we out preachers mm. whenever they raping souls. Come on now, mm. you mm. know. But it's something about when somebody blows a whistle mm. on white America, right. the conglomerates, right. the people that we deem powerful. Absolutely, the people right. that we think one day maybe they'll look at us and give us a shot. Right, right. I know. We right. feel like, oh, you know, yay, messing it up for everybody. everybody. <laughs> Ain't nobody going to want to fool with black people because you ain't messing it up. Yes, yes. But we have to allow Mm. for that if we want that same opportunity when it comes. Now, will we handle it like him? Maybe not. Maybe not. Mm. Nah, nah. I I, I probably wouldn't do that like that. I probably wouldn't do that like that. But that's him. Free speech, free will. Uh, Free speech, free will. That's it. I can't, I can't, I can't. I just don't understand why you got to rape that man and take everything from him. Because right. he said what he said, and now he like a sad, sad little puppy. If it's right. one, I'm person, sorry. If it's one group right. that'll stick right. with him, I guarantee you, they're gonna make it back. Yeah, mm. yeah. If it's one company, one that'll company, say, we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna, we, gonna, gonna drop yet. We gonna keep you. Yeah, because we feel like this is going somewhere. Yeah. Right. Oh man, right. they Listen. might be sitting in the cat seat like right. the, yeah. Oh, it's somebody oh, that's it's gonna, somebody. It's somebody that's, that's always going. And and you know it's funny that we was talking about this. Y'all forgot when um R. Kelly's situation yeah. was. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh they they was ready. They 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 cog- they blocked every. Not I don't agree on what R. Kelly did. Oh no no we not gonna, you know, no we, we, we know definitely that. not yeah. saying that yeah but. You know, <laughs> but more you, black people you, was on R. Kelly on on R. Kelly's side. Believe it or not, than they are on Ye's side. Yeah, we are. And we, R. Kelly did everything to us. Yes. his own folk. Right, right? he right. did. And and people were still like in love with R. R. Kelly, Kelly even after mm, that. Right, people Lots still play people his music. Right, then. What's on Ye? Well, yeah. But because Ye did what he did, now they don't like that. Oh, they. He he they probably running. has like gained so much. It's oh, like, my God. Like we, so we, many enemies. It's like we 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 don't we confused. <laughs> I think we some confused yeah. folks. This society I is really uh, you know. Uh, think, yeah. Listen, because man. if we laughed and cut up on R. Kelly, yes. right. but yet we all out of sorts on Ye. Oh yeah. What's up? What's up? That's right. Listen to this, rape. Unlawful sexual activity and unusual sexual intercourse carried out forcibly or under threat or injury against a person's will or with a person who is beneath a certain age 
or incapable of valid consent because of mental illness, mental deficiency, intoxication, unconsciousness, or deception. Mm, deception. Mm. So when we look at that, he's going through that right now. Mm-hmm. You know, he said what he wanted to say mm-hmm. and felt how he wanted to. Mm-hmm. He gave his definition of rape mm-hmm. to us mm-hmm. based off of the comments that he made. That's mm-hmm. the way he felt mm-hmm. for us as a people. And, you know, for so many years, for so many years, we've had leaders rise up in our communities, right? We have, we've had Malcolm X, who was raw. If you go back and you listen to a lot of (laughs) Malcolm X's speeches, if you go back and you listen to... uh, Minister Farrakhan's speeches mm-hmm. today. <laughs> Arsenio Hall got shut down when he brought Louis Farrakhan on. I remember that. So we so this 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 is this is not this this has been happening. Mm-hmm. We all know that. This has been happening. But to take everything from him, oh, I just think that's unfair. Mm-hmm. I don't agree with racial slurs at all. Don't get it twisted. I don't. What racial slur did he I think they was they was like he said not racial slurs, but uh what's the word I'm looking for? Y'all help me out. Uh uh, I didn't think he used that new word. No, I think it was it was a word that they used. So excuse me. Anti Semitism. Thank you. Thank you. Know, you. And and Thank you know, you. I looked at So it's not uh, racial slurs where it but says that he you know, anti Semitism is being against or prejudice. Okay. He's speaking of his experience. Yeah. I don't think that that's not being against or prejudice. Right. No, right. he wasn't. That's he's speaking on his experience. What he's saying is the experience that he went through with a particular group of well, people yeah, at yeah. that time right, with right, his right, experience. Right, right. Right. I didn't have that experience. No. Yeah. And he said he didn't say you know. all he didn't say all Jewish. Mm-hmm. He didn't say all Jewish people were bad. He was just na- he named a few people that he was dealing with at the time, and he said, "I've been quiet for so long." Well, he said, he, this, uh, these are the same people that they were, you know, diminishing his 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 name that they were saying all kinds. Of, he said he never responded. He said, "But now he's awoke that he's gone," and he said the 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 Jewish media. And he gave he gave some, he gave some names. Some names. Yeah. And, and I mean those are the people, people joke all the time about the Jews owning all of the entertainment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But you they know, you know they do. So they run that. Said yeah. They it, do. yeah. Then I'm thinking okay, so yeah. for me, yeah. I always look at things. Is someone lying? Right. If they're not lying, if they're not lying, I'm right. like, okay, go ahead. Yeah. What else is that is it that you want to say? Yeah. You know, is someone spewing hate speech? Yeah. If they're not doing that, right. okay, go ahead, keep talking. Yeah, that was his experience with a particular you know, with if someone's sharing the experience. With, yeah. I think he was just sharing was his experience just, yeah, with yeah, he was, he was. with those individuals. Right. I don't even he like was. to put Jewish on that. They just right. happen to be Jews. Yeah. They happen to be they happen Jews because right. they're in the entertainment right. and they're in the entertainment right. business and they happen to be Jews and that right. was his experience with those gentlemen yeah. or right. females or and whatever. I'm not on anybody's side. I'm not either. I'm on right. Free speech, free, free, will speech side. free will right. side. Man. Because if he was a white man and he said his experience with black people was what it was, hey, let me tell you something. If he telling the truth, I'm going to be like, hey, I've experienced it too. Because I have experienced some stuff with our folk. We, that uh, I, man, I what? would be glad to talk about, uh, you know, with you, other white people. Yeah, you, you, you. you so I mean, I'm definitely not right. on uh, some black train. You know, you know, I'm like, hey, I've experienced something too. If a white right, person wants are. to say right. something and it struck a chord no. with me, and what black people do, right. you think I'm gonna make them sit down and shut up? No, I'm gonna be like, listen to what they're saying. Let me That's just hear the what truth. you're saying, right? 
Yeah. And, but it's it's so it's so crazy that they making this so oh my something God, so big man. where 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 Balenciaga, Adidas, all these all these different it's like twenty five different um companies that are trying to you know back away from you from know people from yeah too yeah and it's like no mind of right. their own. Right, and we're it's like, all gonna do it. Right, yeah. that's all. Counsel him. Right, and it, on, it, it's crazy because when Kanye West was going through stuff with 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 Puff Daddy, with with um, oh, yeah. Jay Z and everybody, they didn't make a big deal out of it. No. Because, I guess because it's black and black. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. But as soon as it's the other way around, now it becomes a pro- oh. problem. See, that's oh. what that's what I don't understand. That, he, He's been doing that. I mean. Kanye jumped on stage and and <laughs> interrupted. I mean, my not Miley Cyrus. What's her name? Yeah. That was it. Yeah, no, not Miley Cyrus. Uh, not Miley Cyrus. Taylor What's Swift. The, Taylor, oh, Swift. Taylor Swift. Yeah. He interrupted Taylor Swift's. Uh, Beyonce. Yeah, <laughs> Beyonce should have won it. All y'all know. Yeah. Beyonce should have won it. But you that know. was the truth. But yeah, yeah, it was. And you know, he did that, but didn't nobody do anything because it was like. Uh, Kanye. Kanye did that last time. George Bush don't like black people. Yeah. <laughs> he did that on live TV, and I was like, "What the? F-? Yeah. yeah, Michael That's Myers why I looking was at him like really what? totally against um, Donald Trump when everybody was having a fit over Donald Trump. Free speech. Donald Trump exercised free speech. It's who he is. I. Was my <laughs> buttons were not pushed by Donald Trump? I wasn't surprised. You know, but now if yeah. I'm with you, like if you my man, you right here in front of me, <laughs> and you in my sphere, yeah, then yeah, my buttons can be pushed. Absolutely. But you're Donald Trump. Well, you Donald Trump. He been that and way. You he been, he been, been, a, been a, that way. Been that way. I, I was a fan of. Of his, you're fired what? thing, right? right? I used to tune in. I did too. And so right. when he actually became president, president and he was acting the same way, it shouldn't have been I a was surprise. Like, that's, oh, Donald. that's Donald. <laughs> because a lot of people didn't know who he was. No, I they don't didn't. Know why. I'm not saying that's, I know everybody know who Donald Trump, yeah. but they, they didn't. You know, some people probably didn't watch the show. Yeah. Or some yeah. people didn't yeah, know yeah, yeah. that kind of, you know, that side, that New York side of him. I was going to say, you know, he's, like, a, he's a rich <laughs> New Yorker. He's from Jamaican Queens. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. He's very brash. He, 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 he's, he's very from, brash. He's from what? the South Side, South Side Jamaican Queens. Right. right. Look. Come on, this man. This dude, he's been doing this for years. For years. You know, yeah. I mean, him grabbing a woman or whatever. Yeah, whatever. I was thinking <laughs> the same thing. <laughs> he been doing that. He, he been doing, grab it, right? Yeah. <laughs> he been doing crazy stuff for years. For years he's you been know, doing that. But it's just it's just because now he's a president. Oh, red flag. Yeah. yeah. We seen something. We seen something. No, you, you know, ain't you witnessing yeah, Donald Trump. Trump. And 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 he I remember in the very beginning when he said yeah. that this whole thing wow, man. was made uh, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Right, 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 he right. wasn't saying that it didn't exist. Sure, right, sure. He was saying the stuff around R- it right, was right. blown out of proportion. Right, right, right and it right. was, mm-hmm. and it was, and 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 everybody was like, "Oh, I can't believe he said it! I can't believe he said it!" Yeah. But I have always been a fan. Yeah. Of people who say whatever they, they want to say, yeah. Even if I don't like it, I mean, long as I can say it back, yes. Long as you can be addressed. Now, where yeah. I don't like is when you can say what you want to say. Other people can't say anything uh, back. back. Right, right. Now, right. That's that bull part, crap. That part. That yeah. part. We ought to but, be able yeah, to say right, stuff right, back. Right. And and I think that what they should have done, but they didn't want to do it, was engage Kanye. In a conversation. That's a what real they don't want to do that. That's what he wants. Yeah, a real conversation, that's, but they don't want to give him the mic. Yeah, they that's, don't. They're no, afraid of that. Actually, when he was a drink chance and he sat there and he said what he had to say, he was like, look, and and uh, Nori was like, well, you know, um, Kanye, you know, we're black. You know, you, you say, you know. Chris. 
Huh? You s- have him you, on the you, show. You, who, Kanye? Yeah. Yeah, we did. I, I wish we could. <laughs> Write him and tell him. You I'll be honest with you, man. I, he come on here and, 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 and throw, throw it on out wants, there. Yeah, I, I don't so, mind if he come and talk. Like, you know, I want to hear what he got to say. I think said, it's in all fairness. I think so, he should, I, You know, let me hear what you got to say. Right. I may not agree with it, but let me hear what you got to say, man. Yeah. It's so, I mean, everybody had, everybody are entitled to their own opinion. Yes. You know, and that's, that's the part that, you know, we're talking about free, free will, free, free speech. Mm -hmm. But, you know, like, like we've said all, all along, there is no free will. There's no free speech because Mm -hmm. if there was all these problems that we've been having, we we shouldn't be having all of this. Right. You know, but it seems, it seems that. Something is wrong somewhere. If you can't, if if I can't have a conversation with you, right? What's the problem? If, if I can't talk, if I, I mean, if I'm making you rich, if I'm making you rich, you rich. Okay, I'm getting rich in the process. But if I'm making you rich and you liking all my ideas and you you getting you getting richer and richer and richer, and then all of a sudden I said, um, excuse me, I have an opinion. I, oh no. <laughs> You, said, I oh have no! An you, you, you know, you, 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 you can't say nothing. <laughs> yeah, and that's the problem. I have Kanye. an opinion, right. and you don't, know, and, 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 and they don't want to hear and it. And they don't want to hear it. Mm-hmm. I'm know. gonna tell you. You got John. You got Shock Jock Imus. Y'all remember Imus? Yeah. Yes. Uh, you got um, Howard Stern, as stated before. Right. Rush Limbaugh. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's another one. Yeah. He was. <laughs> And say then, whatever he wanted to he say. He said whatever he wanted to say. Right. And then we have Tucker Carson, who still is, you know, he's on CNN, but he can say some stuff to make you say, man, what the? F- is you talking about? Yeah, what did you just say? <laughs> right. But guess what? He has that ability to do so. Whether we agree with it or not, you know, that's our First Amendment right to have free speech and to be able to say what we want to say. Um, I'm fortunate, you know, the unfortunate thing is there's a double standard in our society double that says, standard. no, you can't say what you want to say, because if you do, we're going to have the morale police come and shut you down, mm-hmm. which, mm-hmm. you know, it, come on. I, I, I just for me, man, <laughs> why are you taking everything from him? Yeah. Because he if, if, if you're offended then why not sit down and have a conversation? Why not sit down with him? Because ultimately, that's what he wants. Somebody, somebody. is going to get that interview. Yeah, just sit down and talk. And somebody's going to say, okay, just let's talk. talk. Let's just talk. Where did it mess up? Why do you yeah. feel this way, Kanye? The, the why challenge you, yeah. would be to get Kanye to talk in a straight line. Yeah. You got to really follow him because even when he's serious and he's trying to yes. make sense, he is hard to follow. Yeah. Um, you have to listen to his concept. If yeah. you listen to him word for word, you'll be like, what the hell is Kanye talking yeah. about? Do y'all guys. Yeah, because sometimes he's all over the place. <laughs> well, let me ask you this. Uh, sometimes, <laughs> all right, Candy. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes I'm, I'm like. Yeah, where is he what going? Because yeah. just when you think he's going somewhere, he takes a left. Yeah, he takes right. a left, right. and I'm like, okay, okay, I need to know, like, what's Kanye the was, bottom line what's here? What's happening, bro? I, 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 I missed it. I missed it because you know I've you know and you know some some of his peers have said you know they need to stop giving him a platform. They need to um, that that. He's not well, and that may be true because, yeah. you know, he's going through a divorce with his family. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I say family because when you divorce your wife, you divorcing the kids too. Yeah. Right. You know, you have to set up visitations and all of that. But, you know, I, I, really I don't know what's going on with Kanye. I don't want to assume that, you know, it's mental illness. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Or is it he just... Is that a place in his life where he's like, I'm sick of this. I'm not right. going to hold my tongue anymore. I'm going to say what I want to say because I've watched what they do. Mm-hmm. And, and so from my perspective and from my opinion and what I'm experiencing right now, I believe this to be true about all of them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, I believe this is true. Yeah. 
I think that's where he's at. I in think his, that's in, where he's at. at. In his life. That's just where he at. I mean, from 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 the time I've 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 observed or or, yeah. or seen what, how Kanye Kanye West have moved, the way he moved moves, or you know, he has been consistent. You know, it's not like oh. He would do this in one aspect, and then another aspect. He's he's doing something. He has been, and there there was a time where he was quiet for so long. When everybody was saying, "Oh, Kanye, 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 Kanye," he he didn't say now. He didn't respond. Yeah. He was just to himself. All the all the all that time he was going through there with um Kim Kardashian, you know, he kept it. Yeah, and that's and, the other thing. I think, and then when I he think, and Pitt. Pete, Pete Davidson, or yeah, whatever, you know, and I think we forget that this man is going through a divorce, right, right now Can't with his family. His kids. I think we we have to look at everything. We have to look at he's going through a divorce. He's experiencing a death. He's hurt. He feels betrayed in so many different ways, and it's not an it's not. In a controlled environment, it's in an environment that says, say what the hell you want to say, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let loose. Mm-hmm. When he probably needs to be in a controlled environment because it sounds like a lot of trauma to me. It sounds like a bunch of hurt and a bunch of trauma because whatever's coming out is what he's deeming to be his traumatic experience right. with a certain right. with a certain race of people, right? So... I, I can't say whether he's right or whether he's wrong because I wasn't in the room with yeah. Kanye. Yeah, I wasn't there with him when he was going through what he was going through. But mm-hmm. I think the one thing we can agree with is, you know, we're supposed to have freedom of speech. We're supposed to have free will. Uh, we do know that there are consequences and mm. things that you will have to face if you right. decide to exercise <laughs> Mm. Right. Your free will and your ability to speak freely. Mm-hmm. Right, right, uh, right. But at the end of the day, I think if you built for it, you built for it. Yeah. And you'll handle it as it comes down the pipe. Mm-hmm. So, listen, I hope you guys have heard something on today that could help you kind of navigate through free will and, 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 and free speech. You know, we don't claim to know it all. We're just having a conversation about free will and free speech and of course the latest thing that we could talk about is what's happening with with our brother mr kanye west and what we see happening so far as him losing losing all of these wonderful opportunities that he had for what he said and was it you know was it necessary to counsel him like this because of what he said And so, you know, we may not agree with everything that he has said, but I think we all can agree that it shouldn't be taken away from him like that. Free speech, free will. Free speech and free will. You have it. Mm -hmm. Just know that it comes with some responsibilities (laughs) and some consequences that come along with it, baby. If you're willing to go down that road, and that's even from... You know, that's just across the board, you know. You reap what you sow, you sow what you reap. And if you're willing to deal with those consequences, then who am I to judge you? Because you made that choice. So listen, I am Carl Sr. And I am Candy T. Jeter. And I am Femi Oshinowo. All right, make it a great day and keep being great. Peace.